What is going on guys? It's your boy LOLU Salty bringing you another video. So this shall be more of a opinion piece or something of the sort rather than an actual news video because open oh, news on the PlayStation 4 is quite stale as of now. I mean Play PlayStation 4 has won the December NPD sending um, the Xbox fanboys and the PC elitists into a complete, well not really the PC elitists but you know like when they don't get a Sony exclusives they usually tell people not to buy a PlayStation 4 so that way Sony like you know sees a dip in sales and the right way they can bring their games with their PC but that will never happen um <laughs> But, uh, you know, I am a PlayStation channel. I am a biased Sony pony, a biased Sony fanboy, PlayStation fanboy. So, of course, people would just take my opinion to, well, a quote-unquote grain of salt. <laughs> Ah, but, um, uh, let's see, you know, when you really look at the year 2017, the console is going to dominate this year. You have the Xbox Scorpio, Microsoft's Xbox Project Scorpio is going to be the most powerful console with, <laughs> honestly, no fucking games at all. <laughs> honestly, no games at all, and, um... Nintendo Switch, which shall be an innovative console, but a pure gimmick based on what it is. However, when you look at Nintendo Switch versus the Xbox One, although the Nintendo Switch lineup is honestly garbage in and of itself, like what, you got 1-2 Switch, milking a cow, um, milking some udders, and you have a, uh, um, I forgot that other game. Was it ARMS? I don't know if ARMS is coming out for the Switch. I think that's like a couple months afterwards, but, um, but you do have Zelda Breath of the Wild launching with it. And honestly, while people will say hey, Zelda Breath of the Wild is a better looking game or a upgrade of a game than Horizon Zero Dawn is, which they are complete wrong for because Horizon Zero Dawn is going to be game of the year this year. So yeah, um... That's gonna be Guerrilla Games, best yet. So, uh, yeah, they can shut the fuck up with that bullshit. But Nintendo Switch does have Zelda Breath of the Wild launching this year with the Switch. And that is a huge game. Like, yeah, you know, I'm a PlayStation channel. I'm a PlayStation fanboy. I'm a PlayStation fanboy. But, you know, I am not blind to see that Zelda is going to be a huge game. Like, if it's a Zelda game, if it's from Nintendo, it's gonna do blockbuster sales. And also, not only that, because the Switch is gonna be manufactured in low quantities. So, due to artificial demand and i'm assuming zelda is going to be bundled or like there's going to be some type of bundle with the switch because or people are i mean when you get a switch you're automatically going to buy zelda with it like come on now who's going to be a dumbass to get like uh i don't know a switch just for arms or some shit like that i don't know i mean there's some people like that but like really come on now but yeah um when you look at the catalog games this year xbox has uh Crackdown, that could be good. I mean, I don't know. That it's been delayed numerous times and not I'm saying delays are bad because that makes the game better in the end, but like with this whole power of the cloud nonsense Microsoft was touting on with that at, you know, the E threes like the three E threes ago with this power of the cloud bullshit with crackdown. Honestly, crackdown is just whatever to me. And you have Sea of Deeves. <laughs> Sea of Deeves. More like Sea of Doo Doo, but um <laughs> Whatever, and you have, uh, let's see, Halo Wars 2, another fucking Halo, for God's sakes, but it's Halo, so with the Halo name in it, it'll probably sell, and uh, besides that, you got Cuphead and some other games, and State of Decay 2, I'm sorry, State of Decay, that's probably the only decent game, or good-looking game, I should say, or maybe above-average game on Xbox this year, in my opinion, so. Yeah, and you take that with Nintendo Switch, which they have Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Mario the Lost Odyssey, and let me just say, um, Honestly, I am bullshit. I know I shit on Nintendo, and I will still keep shitting on you. To I will still keep shitting on Nintendo, and you Nintendo fanboys. Okay, because it's fun as hell to me. It's funny as hell when I do that. It's like pure entertainment. But I ain't even gonna lie. That Mario The Lost Odyssey game, that shit looks hot. It looks beautiful as fuck. I'm not even lying. Like, I, I know cause I know it's weird because you hear me say I mean, even in my Nintendo Switch presentation, I, I said, like, the best thing I saw that whole presentation was Mario The Lost Odyssey. That game looks fucking amazing. But don't get me wrong, though. Like, even with that, like, well, PlayStation has Yakuza 0, Neo, Gravity Rush 2. I think that... Is it not? Yeah, that comes out today, actually. My wallet's going to be fucking empty. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, there's too many games coming out for PlayStation these four months. Like, I gotta save my money, Jesus Christ. <laughs> But, um, yeah, uh, Neo Yakuza 0, um, Gravity Rush 2, Horizon Zero Dawn. There's been real talks of Spider-Man 4 
Spider-Man PS4 actually releasing this year? And I just don't know. But if it does, oh my god. That's like Sony. There's like even so many other, other games Sony can launch at the end, later end of this year, kind of. Even though that's not how Sony does it. They usually release their games like in the, in the early months of the year. Not really the fall because that's where the third party games are just going to keep, just sort of slaughter everything. It's like cannibalizing yourselves. But um, uh, yeah. Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario the Odyssey, and... Honestly, those two heavy hitters alone, I feel, because whatever Xbox shows this year at E3, I highly doubt, I highly, because even with Sony, like, you know, every E3 game, all the E3 games they show are always going to be games coming out the next year or early next year. Like, very rarely do you really see those blockbuster games that they announced at E3 get released the same year. That doesn't really happen. E3 is just shown, E3 is just really made to show, you know, gamers, hardcore, enthusiasts of your said platform the games coming out the games just coming out in the future not really games coming out that year but anyways um yeah with those two heavy hitters from the nintendo i feel the nintendo switch is honestly going to do much better than the scorpio will this year the scorpio is probably going to release somewhere october or november somewhere around that so it's like it's only going to be on the market technically for 2017 for two months and kind of about that and i don't really see how two months is just going to be able to slaughter like two heavy hitters nintendo's going to bring out and the heavy hitters that sony's going to be bringing out all year like jesus Christ, there's like no competition there like honestly i know I, like i'm a fanboy obviously but like you like it's like it, the domination this year will be insane like the amount of games sony has this year is incredible like 20 like when i made that playstation domination 2017 video it, it had a lot of salt in it but like that was the truth like the amount was like this is the year of place like if you're a PlayStation gamer this is gonna be the year you're shitting in your pants because like like it's bone shivering to be think of the amount of games Sony has this year like as I said Persona 5 coming out in like what like two more months Horizon Zero Dawn next month Gravity Rush this week like Yakuza Zero following you know uh, I think four months or three months later words Neo dropping like what three or four months later words this is insane and these are like you know uh, blockbuster exclusives on PlayStation like I'm just like we, and we don't even know Sony is gonna be dropping some Spider-Man or God of War or some shit like that at the end of the year or something like that to like maybe like shit all over Microsoft's parade but like Sony is a very humble company like you know uh, Shuhei Yoshida and uh, Andrew House, they're a lot more humble in the things they do, so I really, it's not really Sony's style to just shit all over Microsoft like that. Although Microsoft would do that, like, you know, Microsoft would probably drop a huge Gears game or something if Sony was releasing the PS4 Pro sometime this year, like, and the roles were, you know, reversed. Like, Microsoft would do some shit like that, but... The only worst thing Sony has ever done to Microsoft was the beginning of the generation when, uh, you know, with the whole used games thing, and, uh, in Shuvi Yoshida and, uh, I forgot that other guy, he was that bald guy, I forgot his name, but, uh, yeah, they were poking fun at, oh, you're able to trade the used games in and shit on PlayStation, but not on Xbox, it was funny. But that's, like, the only terrible thing Sony has honestly done to Microsoft's generation, you know? or Xbox division. Other than that, they've been pretty much humble in, thing, in the things they do, which is why I respect Sony. I mean, they're a company at the end of the day. All they care about is meeting their profits. I mean, any person should be able to see that. But when it comes to, you know, respecting the gamers and giving them what they want, Sony is a company that shits on over Nintendo and Microsoft and that. But yeah, again with the topic, um, yeah, PlayStation is going to keep momentum this year. It's going to go from, I've seen some sites report that PS, the PS4 is at an estimated 55 million now. And that's like, Jesus Christ. So I've been telling Nintendo facts and PC elitists and Xbox Oneers for that matter that the cap is never gonna close. That Sony is still on an unprecedented rate to surpass PlayStation 2 sales figures, which PlayStation 2 is the greatest selling console in history. 150 plus million units. And PlayStation 4 is outpacing that. This, this is on a roll, like mark my fucking words. Cause the PlayStation 4, Pro is going to make the longevity of the PS4 as a whole last until 2020 or 2021. And even beyond that, Sony will still keep supporting it because Sony always supports their consoles. You know, PlayStation 2 lasted 12 fucking years. Like that, if that is not support, I don't know what is. It, it's, <laughs> I don't even feel it's going to be fair. It won't be fair. It's not going to be fair, man. Like what Sony is going to do this year, like granted, next year, 2018, that could be the year that Xbox is like, you know, just on a roll with games 
releases and stuff, but I wouldn't really count on that. And maybe next year Nintendo puts out some more heavy hitters, like some Pokemon games for the Switch or something like that. That'll be a heavy hitter. But still, even next year, like Sony might be Sony might release The Last of Us Part Two or God of War, because I don't know if God of War. I mean, it's playable, but as I said, guys, I just don't know if it'll release this year. I mean, even me being a PlayStation enthusiast, I'm just not going to hop on the gun and say Santa Monica Studios are going to release that this year. I don't know. Playable, but there could still be massive bug bugs and glitches we don't know about. It takes a lot of time for them to fix all these things for a game, especially of the scale of God of War. I'm just saying, but yeah, like Sony could be re releasing The Last of Us Part Two next year, which I'm pretty sure Naughty, Naughty Dog is going to do. God of War next year, if it doesn't come out this year, um, Days Gone, and that game looks fucking amazing. I'm sure it's going to run amazing on the Pro, because I don't think it'll have those frame rate drops that, that was shown at E. The, um, yeah, the E3, because I think that was shown on the original PS4, and that has some frame drops with it, but I don't think that'll happen on the Pro. But I'm just saying, like, 2017, PlayStation is going to dominate. I think second place will go to Nintendo Switch, because those two heavy hitters Nintendo has, Zelda and Mario, I feel that's going to slaughter everything else Xbox has, because, like, yeah, they have K and Halo Wars 2, but don't possibly crack down 3, but it's like, I, I don't know. I just don't, because I just don't feel that'll be enough to like take down Zelda or Mario in my opinion I don't I just don't but yeah Sony has the best games this year it's going to dominate this year it's, it's pro I think it's going to be at at least 70 or 80 million by the end of this year I don't know if it'll go beyond that but like it, it it's just fucking crazy the sales PS4 is doing right now in a casual dominated market where smartphones and cell phones is a shit where people thought consoles were dying PlayStation 4 is kicking ass and taking names and Sony is back on top they are the kings of the generation like they They've always fucking been like how do you like how, how do xbox fanboys nintendo fanboys not see this how do they not fucking see this god damn it playstation domination 2017 i made that video for a fucking reason because they are going to dominate this year with games that y'all can be salty y'all can dislike the video but when sony releases those exclusives on a monthly basis those those hard-hitting fucking exclusives oh the salt and Persona 5 did like 600k or 700k the first week in Japan. Japan alone. And Persona has a huge fucking audience in the West. So you don't think that game's gonna do like at least minimum 700k the first week or 600k the first weeks in the West? It's gonna blow it out the fucking water. Yo, and people be sleeping on Persona and Horizon. I'm like, yeah, Guerrilla Games has been putting, I'm going on a rant right now, but Guerrilla Games has been working on this, has been working on this game for the past six years. They put it blood, sweat, and tears into this. You can tell, you can just tell that this is not gonna be another kill zone. They've hired new writers from the Witcher 3 development team, um, CD Projekt Red. Like, this game is going to be amazing. They, the, I, the voice acting I feel could be better. I'm not even gonna lie about that. Cause when I, um, cause like when I first heard her voice acting, I was like, ah, oh, this kinda, this kinda, sound, kinda sounds a bit weak, but maybe I can grow to like it, but. Other than that, the gameplay, the visuals, the, oh my fucking god. I'm telling you, PlayStation will keep momentum this year. It's gonna it's gonna slaughter the Nintendo Switch and slaughter the Xbox Scorpio just from his game. The strongest console has never won a generation. Xbox Scorpio, I don't even, like, I mean, I wouldn't even consider it a mid-generation upgrade. That's like a new generation system right there. Is, is that truly a mid-generation upgrade? Like with a new processor, a heavy, six teraflop gpu that's not a mid-generation upgrade that is a new generation console because whenever microsoft gets get like starts getting his ass with it always rushes out a new console that's been proven but anyways i i get bones sh I, I my bones shiver at the destruction that's going to occur this year just from sony's first party games it's gonna be insane but yeah guys that's the end of this video this is just not even a news piece it was just more like a opinionated type of piece but i as again playstation will dominate this year nintendo switch will come in second and xbox scorpio just due to it being released at the end of this year will come in third not really with any good exclusives honestly but we'll see at e3 we'll see but yeah enjoy the rest of your day guys and take care lw salty signing out enjoy your gaming oh yeah <laughs> PlayStation Domination 2017, bitch!